Uh, I'm Signature Spellbomb with the Signature Spellbomb YouTube channel. Today I'm playing Jaya Ballard with Trash for Treasure. Hello, I'm Paul. Uh, I'm part of the Bard Rock Cafe D&D podcast. I am playing Lily out of the Dark Realms with Lily on his uh, I'm Insidiator from nowhere. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing Glidian and Blackblade Austere Command. Okay. Hey there, I'm your host of the most on Summon Skull. Uh, <clears throat> I'm running Doretti Ingenious Iconoclast and Demonic Dread. So lots of D's, lots of not, lots of I's. <laughs> I'll the host of the most. If we say your name three times, do we unsummon you? I'm already on. Uh, uh, all right. Are we ready to start? Yep. Uh, I believe I, hit a I get good. the first action of the game. Oh, the nice. line of sanctity. Well, I thought I was going That's first. That's what I get for uh, paying attention to the wrong thing. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> no, no, he went zero. That's <laughs> wonderful. I like those opening hand ley lines. You don't see those every day. Uh, okay. Draw. I'll play an Evolving Wilds, and I'm going to crack it and pass. Uh, I'm going to draw, I'm going to play a snow-covered swamp and pass, and I bet you someone has a five-color ley line deck that does in fact see it every day. <laughs> nice. I'll draw. That does sound like fun. I'll play a plains and pass. <clears throat> draw. Play out a mountain and pass. Okay. Sorry, I'll finish shuffling real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, this is what I get for... Cracking a uh, an evolving wilds untap, draw. I'll play second mana. I'll play a wily goblin. When it enters the battlefield, I create a treasure token. Ah, nice. And I will go ahead and I'll pass the turn. All right. I'm gonna play another snow covered swamp, and I'm gonna pass. I'll play a hall of heliod's generosity. I'll pay two. For a Luminarch's Ascension. Nice. Oh. And that will pass. That is a good yeah. early play. Uh, all I can do is swamp, pass, get a counter, give you a counter. Wow, that is the ugliest golden goblet I've ever drawn. <sighs> That's all right. Whatever is in it goes to the same place. <laughs> I think that's true. Believe that. Skull, did you pass? Yeah. Oh, right. okay. um, you're, Bob, I'm, you're up. I'm going to put a land into play tapped. So these beautiful, you know, new lands. I'm going to pay uh, one for a Wayfarer's Bobble. And I'm going to pay two to crack it to go get another land and I'll pass. Oh wait! I also attack for one at the person with the uh, with the thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Slightly delaying that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's very important. I wish I could contribute, but I unfortunately, unless I top deck a creature, I am not playing a creature with what I have in hand. Uh, yeah, can't Ooh. win them all, right? Oh, I can help actually. Oh, I'm going to play Farika's Libation, and I'm going to target the player who controls the Luma. Oh, I can't target you, can I? No, you can't. Darn. I have hexproof. I forgot about the hexproof. Not a legal spell to cast. I tried. I tried, everybody. I can't do anything else, so I pass. Untap. Draw. I will play a planes. Yeah, I'll play a pearl medallion. Then I will pass. Oh, cycle for the broken limbs. Hmm. Discard the Ravager and I'm just Ravager and pay it and play it for cost. For for hmm. max cost. But that doesn't mean you get another counter. That's okay, but it's not good. Um two for a Milliken. Or mannequin, sorry. And two for a smuggler's copter. And one into Instant City War. And I guess I'm done. Got nothing better to do. Lily out of the Dark Realms. And then I'm going to plus her to find a swamp. And then I'm done. Oh, that put, one, put me one card over eight, mm -hmm. over seven in my hand. So I'm actually going to discard the swamp I tutored for. 
Mm. You know what? I will go ahead and pass. I think you're at four counters now on your ascension. I am. Hmm. Okay. Well, so, I yeah. lost any reason to attack you anymore for a while. <laughs> True. Also, having four right, fours right. just suddenly appear in the air is not great. <laughs> Rather not swing into that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Swing the Island Ravager at Insidiator. Trigger goes on the stack. To discard my hand, then draw three cards. Mm. Trigger on the stack, I'm going to cycle Void Beckoner and give it a Death Touch counter. Mm. And then, so I cycle to draw a draw card. Then I discard my hand. Two mountains, a desert, Saradon, Cyan of Darkness, Gurmag Angler, and Collective Compliance. So I'm going to separate my graveyard into creatures and non creatures. For reasons that are not apparent. <laughs> no. But they are childish. <clears throat> and the 3 3 with Death Touch is attacking. <laughs> so. Is your Liliana at four? It is. Spellbomb, can you keep Liliana at four? By attacking mm. it, perhaps? Probably. Um, I'm trying to figure out, what is that Liliana's ult? Is that the... It makes my swaps Li super swaps. Oh yeah, they tap four mana. Yeah, I can probably do that. Like. I just want to keep her alive for the mana consistency of drawing a swamp every turn. I, as long as she's not completely dead, I'm happy. Well, I, I, I would can deal like with it that. to be completely dead. Mm, that's a little harder for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have to kill it. I can kill it. Because if you want to completely oh. kill it, then I have to cast my signature spell, and I don't want to do that to you guys. As, did you say you're good, j -Ro? I will. I will so go three, ahead and take three the three damage. Is, yeah, that, that's what I'm waiting on. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. three damage is through. All right, then I pass mm -hmm. I'll pay uh, two and play uh, Fist of the Flame on my Wily Goblin. I'm going to draw a card, and then until the end of turn, it's going to gain Trample and plus one, plus zero oh for each card I've drawn this turn, so it's got plus two, plus zero. Oh. And I'm going to swing at the Liliana for three, then. Liliana will take three. Okay. I don't really plan on swinging at anybody else, so kind of change from playing Smitch. I guess I'll pay three then, and I'm going to play a uh, mobile garrison, and I will pass the turn. Nice. And then I'm just going to pass. All right. In your end step, I'm oh, going to go ahead and pass. Sorry, I forgot about my own ability. Find a swamp. Mm. Ah. In your end step, I'm going to make an angel. Yeah, okay. I will unpat, untap. I do wonder why I haven't seen part of the in the past. And... Draw. Play a planes. I've seen a few other vehicles, but I haven't seen part of the I know that I just never draw it when I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I like the Heart of Curin um, more in decks where you've got the Planeswalkers that can only tick down, because sometimes you just need to get the last loyalty off of them so that yeah. you can recast them, you know? Mm -hmm. Alright, I will go ahead and cast a Thalia, Heretic Cathar, and then I will pay two and cast Gideon. Mm. I will uptick Gideon and give my Angel uh, Vigilance. And then I'm going to swing that at Unsummoned. Okay, that's for four. Yep. Then I will pass. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit and go with Wheel of Fortune. Before you do that, I'm going to play Tendrils of Corruption, deal five damage to the Angel token, and gain five life. Nice. Mm. Um, I guess uh, we lose whatever we have and draw seven, right? Yep. So, mm. I'm attack the... Ravager at 
Paul specifically. All right, that's fine. How much is the Avenger's power? <clears throat> it is a 3 All right. So now you discard, or is that a main? It is, uh, I, I do have to discard. So, that ability on the stack. With the exile, four cards from the graveyard to four lands. And the black to murderous cut. Uh, yeah, I got a murderous cut to tell you. Mm. Love Never to see it. Alright, and I pass the turn. Um, I'll pay two for suspended wheel of fate on four. More wheels. wheels. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this game's official name is the wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I do have all the buses. Yep. Um, I'm gonna pay three for a renegade freighter. Your Liliana's at two right now, right? Yep. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, Sidier's at 15 and can't make an angel right now. Feels a little mean. You know, I think I'm actually just going to keep some defenders up and just pass the turn, actually, as a weird change of pace. I'm going to plus a Liliana three to find another snow-covered swamp and put it in my hand. And that actually gave me one card too many, so I'm going to have to discard something. I'm going to discard the egregiously overpriced hex. Because there just are not six targets out at the moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm going to pass. I will go to combat. Yep. I'm All going right. to attack Gideon Blackblade at Liliana. All right, in response, I'm going to play Liliana's Triumph. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. I control Liliana Planeswalker, so everyone discards a card. Do you have any other creatures? Okay. Uh, in response, I'm going to make an angel. In response, I will play Liliana's Triumph again. Everyone sacrifice two creatures and discard two Yeah, cards. you can't. It's still on the stack. I I absolutely... I can. I just... Or, well, I, I mean, are you just passing it, like, I, a second well, time no. after everything once, resolves? Once your, once your ability comes out, I do it again. It's still before combat damage. All right, that's fair enough. So, okay. I technically said the phrase in response incorrectly. My apologies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you need to produce another angel if you'd like Gideon to still hit Liliana. It's a price I will pay. All right. That hurt me, I think, the most. <laughs> uh, I do have to discard two cards still. Mm. Oh, that's right. I got to discard two cards. Oh, boy. I will pass. Cool. Or I'll, I'll take up with no targets, but then I'll pass. I'm gonna cycle Quakefoot Cyclops. Then I'm going to cast Doretti. Take him up to four, mm. make a 1 1 construct. And pass. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, I got a trigger over here I gotta yeah. deal with. Yeah, I was just about to mention um, that. You know what? I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm gonna pay five, and I'm gonna put my Jaya out on five loyalty. And I'm going to. Pick her up one and discard up the three cards to draw that many cards. And I'm actually going to discard three cards. Uh, for one of my draws, I'm going to replace it with a Dredge 1 shenanigans. Nice. And one, two. Uh, I already played my land for the turn. Um. I actually ended up pretty much the same place I was when I started, so I'll go ahead and I'll pass the turn. Snow-covered swamp. I'm going to play Withering Wisps, and I'm going to just pass the turn with four snow-covered swamps untapped. I'll pay one for a Segovian Angel. Then I will pay five to cast Austere Command. Austere Command's on the stack. I'm going to activate Withering Wisps. You'll four damage to everyone and everything. Okay. Well, and I do declare forms you. first, but I am going to choose... Yes. Uh, I am naming enchantments and artifacts. Yep, and then Withering Wisps will deal four damage to everything that's way into the graveyard. That destroys your, um... Luminarch your, uh, uh, Yes, I know. I, I pulled them off. Yep. Oh, I, my screen hasn't caught up then. I don't see it yet. Yep. Uh, I will play a Mox Amber, and then a Legion's Landing. Nice. Mm. And then I will get a 1-1 Vampire. Go to combat... I will swing Gideon at Jaya. I will uptick Gideon. Then I will pass. 
going to cycle the monster's carabid, and then I'm going to pay three for demonic dread. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Targeting, uh, I do have to target a creature. Uh, you know, I'm going to tick up, make a construct, target my own construct. So it can't block this turn. And then, <clears throat> so the demonic dread's going to go off with the cascade. Okay. Only one thing you can cascade into. Living out. Alright, sweet. I got a meteor golem and a pestilence demon. I got a white belly golem, a goblin, sorry, and a mannequin, and a treasurer. And I get a army. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. So I get. Don't worry, so do I. Monstrous Carabid, a quick with Cyclops. Which makes the, uh, the two creatures unable to block. Uh, <clears throat> I'll just add them later so I get a Moaning Wall, right. which, is a, which is a wall. Mace Tail, uh, Histridon for a strike of haste. Onion's Ravager, Lava Serpent has haste. Archfiend of Ithmir, Lurking Rock. Undead Gladiator, Granitic Titan with his menace, Void Vector with his death touch, Coral of the Broken Lands, Desert Ceridon, Scion of Darkness, and Gurmag Angler. Alright, so I need to choose a target for Meteor Golem. Uh, by the way, all of our stuff comes in tap because Thalia came into play, by the way, everybody. Uh, no, that's not true. I, I, I looked up the ruling. It's. Oh. If, oh, okay. if things was... enter at the same time, it doesn't enter tapped. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought that I thought she'd see them. That's fine. I'm okay. Well, I'm less okay with that because there's hasty stuff, but the hasty stuff isn't going to kill us. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and what is the strongest toughness thing on the board? Um, do you mean that it's capable of attacking right now? Or... No. And right, the thing that can the thing that can survive the most damage being dealt to it. Is there anything with, like, I, what, what is, like, toughness 7 plus is what I'm really wondering about. Uh, Void Beckoner is an 8 8. Alright, I'm going to Meteor Golem Void Beckoner. Okay. <clears throat> puts, uh... I'm going to draw the Immortal Sun off, well, not draw, but I'm going to search for the Immortal Sun off of Thalia's Lancers. Uh, Alright. Alright, I'm going to make, yeah, I'm going to make those two into block and stuff. And that I'm figures. Gonna go, I'm going to go for 9 and ball. All right, that checks out. And then faster. Okay. Well, this has been a swinging game. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, my deck did the Um, I'm going to up Jaya. I'm going to discard. Uh, Quicksmith, Genius, Terramorphic Expanse, and Shenanigans to draw a new hand, essentially. I'm going to play Spike Field Hazard as a, uh, as a land. Sorry, it takes me just a second to flip it. I'm going to pay three for Valakut uh, Awakening. I'm going to put one card on the bottom of my library to draw two. I'm going to pay two for a Firebrand Archer. I think that's as good as I can do. I think I'm pretty much done. So I'll go ahead and I will pass it to God. All right. Untap. Upkeep. I'm going to play Kaya's Ghost Form on Pestilence Demon. I'm going to Pestilence Demon for five. And okay. Everyone takes five damage. All creatures take five damage. Mm -hmm. Well, so much for that. <laughs> Eventually, I will build up a board state. I promise you. So, <laughs> Yep, Scion survives. All right, seven to skull in the air. And domed. Oh my god. Yep. I miss you, Unsummoned Skull. I, I pray for your return. <laughs> Don't think it'll take too long. <laughs> I'll go to combat and yep. attack you for four on the ground. I will activate Pestilence Demon once to deal one damage to everyone on my way out. Oh, does no, okay. Demon deal damage? Okay, yeah, I should be down another five. Yep. Oh. And now six. Yeah, poo. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I was at yep. uh, 11. Now I'm at five. 
Yep. Oh, you're down two five. I heard you say you said down another five, so I'm making sure. Yep. All right, and then I am dead. Well, that'll happen sometimes. All right, I got to do my thing. This is a Pestilence Tribal deck. Mm-hmm. It's got Pestilence, Withering Wisp, Pestilence Demon, Crypt Rats. <laughs> Went all in on that, did you? <laughs> yep. I had a Scythe of the Wretched in my hand, but I just didn't have the mana to do it and wipe the board, all so. Right. <clears throat> I'll cast the Immortal Sun. Okay. And then Thalia, Heretic, Cathar. Or no, mm -hmm. Guardian of Thraben, sorry. Then I will pass. Play a Sahili's Directive for six. Um, I guess I will get an Iron Mirror and a Sky Skiff into play. Uh, I can't tick up or down Jaya. So I guess uh, for now I pass the turn. All right. Oh, I'm a little Well, the next enter play tapped, right? Because of Thalia? The, no, no. This is the non-creature spell Thalia. Actually, you probably should have looked one card less. Oh. I but think it It's was... whatever. It's a little late for that. Yeah. Okay. I will cast a true conviction. I will go <laughs> to combat and attack you for uh, 16. Uh, what's the highest power of the two? Gideon is a 5-5. Five five. I'll block him with a, a... Oh, I have to block them both. Oh, that hurts so bad. Yeah, I'll block them both just to stay in the game, so I don't take anything, I believe. Nope, but I will gain 8 life. Then I will pass. Upkeep. We both discard our hands and draw 7 new cards. Well, that's almost what I wanted. Um, I'm going to pay... Four for a goblin charbell. Any response? Nope. I'll pay three. If this is a mountain, I'm gonna cry so hard. No, oh, of course it is. So you'll take. Oh, can I target you? You can. Oh, okay. So you'll take two. Let's see. I think he's going bottom. Yep. Well, shoot. I think that's as good as it gets. So I think the last thing I want to do. They really wish I hadn't lost that heart of Kieran. <laughs> I think, you know, I can read the writing on the wall, because I can't get enough blockers up. I'm gonna go ahead and concede. Thank you for the game, sir. I, I would have yeah. I would have cast the forbidden card next turn. <laughs> because I had ten mana available. So Iona. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, against a mono red egg <laughs>